Hi, I'm Roger Van Pelt for the Fresno Commodore Users Group and today I have a demo of something pretty unusual and arcane for the Commodore 64 and 128 in 64 mode Slow Scan Television or SSTV which is a method of sending pictures or stills over shortwave radio voice bands. Uh, the program here uh, is on a disk image of a floppy titled ICPUG disk number 9 from the Independent Computer Products Users Group from the UK. On it is a program called FAX64 for SSTV and FAX receiving along with a diagram for an interface circuit which I decided to build. SSTV was developed in the 1950s as a way to use amateur radio narrow bandwidth frequencies to send and receive pictures using analog equipment including oscilloscopes and video cameras. Later a company called Robot Research sold a dedicated device with a built-in CRT that created a standard signal receive mode called 8 second or Robot 8. Uh, but the equipment was fairly expensive so home, when home computers came around uh, hams designed software and radio interfaces allowing for more affordable SSTV experimentation. Here let's have a look at FAC64 and I'll explain the commands. Uh, F1 is photo making or make photo. Um, these words are partially in English and partially in Dutch, so I had to translate them. Uh, F2 is to load the directory. F3, photo deload, is to load photo from the disk. F4, photo deload load photo from a tape drive. F5, photo desave, is to save a photo to the disk. F6, photo tsave, is to save a photo to the tape drive. F7, photo print, is to print the photo. F8 is uh, photo leading also, leading also to save or print the photo. Sorry, to print a photo. Uh, S is to enter slow scan mode. Control is to stop the photo from uh, scrolling. I believe this has to do with the fax receive mode. Uh, left arrow to rug menu. That's to go back to the main menu. Cure verter photo. That's further or continue photo scrolling. Again, I think that has to do with the fax mode which uh, I'm unable to demonstrate here as I don't have any source signal for the faxes but I can show the fax pictures later B uh, buffer lead that's to empty or clear the buffer N negative positive that inverts the image between uh, negative and positive values for the pixels so if you have an image that has predominantly light or dark areas um, you can invert those to enhance the detail for that image. Well, this is the circuit diagram that was included with the disk and it allows you to build the interface that's necessary to take the analog audio input normally from a radio but in our case from a laptop and convert it into a TTL level signal that the computer uses and then the signal is interpreted by the software into an image. Well, here we have the FAX SSTV completed interface. I used a breadboard for simplicity. Um, so we have the audio input coming from the radio or the uh, computer in this case. The ground connects to the ground on the board. Uh, the red wire connects to, um, that is the positive wire, connects to the 27K resistor here. Um, and on the other end, the white wire uh, connects to flag 2 on the Commodore user port. And the red wire is plus 5 volts 
blue wire is ground on the user port. So to send the SSTV signal, um, we're using a program called MMSSTV, and with that, you can load your own images uh, into the program from your computers, your computer uh, file system, and convert them into a uh, format that's compatible for sending via SSTV. So here we've loaded an image that I made, uh, CQCQ um, SSTV, and we're going to use black and white eight second mode. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's in transmit mode. We'll try sending a picture here. Okay, hit S to go to slow scan receive mode in FAC64 and the transmit button in this program. And here we go. Well, as you can see, it's a very low resolution image, but that's the nature of it. Um, it's only 120 scan lines, and the clarity depends a lot on the signal strength and amplification. Uh, also, um, how much noise is introduced by the circuit. Uh, in our case, we're having to amplify it greatly to power this circuit here. Let's go ahead and load another image. Okay, and we'll send this. What you're hearing uh, is the high and low tones for the SSTV signal. Uh, the high tones translate to the lighter areas of the image, the low tones translate to the darker areas, and the program has to take the palette of the C64 and use the dark and light tones available as well as the gray tones available uh, that the computer is capable of producing. So I think that's uh, black, white, and three shades of gray. And we'll load another image here. This one has a gradient from dark to light. Three from Fresno Commodore User Group. 73 means best wishes. Let me send the first one again. Amateur radio operators use slow scan TV to send greetings to each other and confirm contacts. And uh, as high resolution modes became available, as more advanced computers came along, uh, they were able to send color pictures um, and pictures with much more detail. Uh, when computers such as the Commodore, Amiga, Atari ST, IBM PC, and Apple uh, Macintosh came along, they developed interfaces for these as well. And, well, these days, uh, an SSTV signal can be decoded by software only, no interface needed, uh, just an audio signal from a radio. 
uh, or with no radio at all using something called WebSDR, uh, which is software defined radio. So anyone can explore this and other rare types of ham radio signals. So in order to provide images to send to the FAC64 program, uh, I'm using MMSS TV, which I've downloaded from the internet, uh, and you can import your own images. So that you click on, right click on the image area, go to edit image, and loads an image editor. From there you can go to file, import to canvas or new to create a new image, import from file, and you can import an image from your file system. Any of these pictures here you can use or anyway so I've got an image already loaded here. Here you can crop it. Um, crop it down to uh, 322 by 260 pixels approximately. Save the image. I've already done it, so I'm just going to close this. Don't save, because I've got it loaded in MMSSTV already. And when you're ready to go, make sure you're in TX, which is transmit mode. Hit the transmit button, but first you have to go over here and enter SSTV receive mode in FAC64 and transmit. If the signal strength were stronger and the audio volume were higher, then you'd see more detail in the image. But this is the best I could do uh, this time. So now I've got some fax images to show that came with the software in fax64. Okay, so these are the files on the disk. I've given it my own file name here. Um, So there's an auto boot program, auto dot dummy, easy SDQ dot read. Here's the fax SSTV program itself and the files that go with it. Photos one through six. Fax is actually uh, the image of the circuit diagram. Info SSTV, um, that's uh, information about what the circuit actually does in a text file and the parts list. And these are other files on the disk um, included by the computer club that created it. Digicom copiers, ICP users group, ham radio, I haven't looked at all the files on this disk myself. They're unrelated to the FAC64 program. So now that we've seen some slow scan TV images, let's have a look at the FAX images that were included on the disk. So we'll go F3 to load for the disk, asking for a file name. Let's look at photo one. You have to wait for it to load, and then you get F1. Then you have to hit control right away because it's slowly scrolling up, and you do that to stop the scrolling. Okay, let's look at another one. Left arrow to go back. B to clear the buffer. F3 to load another one. Photo 2. Loading. Okay, now it should be loaded. F1 and control. I think this, this is a person with skis. See, there's a ski mask there. Another one. Wait. 
turn to the menu, clear the buffer, F3, photo number three, F1, oh, it's turned 90 degrees. I can hold down control to stop this forward. Yeah, and the images have to be very high contrast in order to um, have discernible details on the Commodore 64 screen. Clear the buffer again. Let's look at another one. Photo 4. And F1. I think it may be a bobsled. You can see the bobsledders there. Number five. The text is reversed here. For some reason. Can't quite make that up. Let's see. Photo six. And we have a group of people looking at something. I think the reason they slow the slow scroll up uh, has something to do with the fax transmission or receive function. I'm not quite sure. Well, that's all for this demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it'd be fun to explore one of the more obscure applications of the Commodore 64. Have fun at the Commodore Los Angeles Super Show. This is Roger Van Pelt for the Fresno Commodore Users Group. Goodbye. The Commodore Los Angeles Super Show!